वेलकम टू माई साइको डायरीज योर अल्टीमेट गाइड टू डिजिटल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सेलेंस आई एम योर होस्ट जितेंद्र घानेकर आई मीन साइको टेक्नोलॉजी एम बी पी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर आई हेव गिवन माई ऑल सोशल मीडिया अकाउंट्स हैंडल ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन कनेक्ट मी ऑन माई लिंक इन इंस्टाग्राम फेसबुक एंड ट्विटर इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन सेंड दो क्वेश्चन टू माई जी मेल आई डी सो दिस इज द वीडियो फ्रॉम द साइट कोर एस एक्सेस सीरीज अ वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ पेज एंड पार्शियल डिजाइन इन साइट कोर एस एक्सए सो वॉट्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट इज अ बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अ पेज एंड पार्शियल डिजाइन देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज पेज डिजाइन एंड देन partial design so what definition wise what is page design and what is partial design that we will see it is a very short video but very important concept before moving ahead on this topic let me request you to subscribe to the channel if you are already not subscribed do click on a notification bell to get a latest update and if you are liking our series this sx series then do share this series with your friends and circle click on a like button for all the videos which you are watching in this series other than that also this sx series also we have other other series going on so you can check this uh, those series also and let me know your feedback on the comment if you want to include anything uh, in the videos let me know if i miss some i yeah, already missed something let me know so that i will cover those in the uh, the upcoming videos so let's start today's topic page design and partial design so let's see the basic concept so any any page if you are trying to design it it may look something like this you might have a, a structure like a one column to three three rows or two column three rows five rows six rows this kind so let's assume that we have a page where we are having a one column and three rows section so this first part which is on the this top part okay where you want to display logo uh, primary navigation and search so basically a header section then in the fo footer section you have a social media navigation and footer navigation and in the middle part that is the main body part you have a product list so product cards you are displaying with pagination and you have a filters at the uh, left hand side okay so these are the structure which you are you want to build for your product listing page okay so this product listing page structure so the the way we are going to create this structure which we are going to create in the site for which we will call as a page design and then what is the partial design so in the, on this page design you have a partial design plus rendering so if i consider this header section this section this structure will called as a header so it might have you might have a, a header with a uh, one row and three columns okay or maybe like this you have a three columns here right one is a logo primary navigation and the search okay or maybe you can have a, a section where you can only have a two columns okay on this head this part that header this part is called as a header which consider which 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 on which we uh, we have a logo navigation and search component okay so those are called as a rendering so partial design where you are defining the structure inside that actual component or actual renderings are available so these are the difference between partial design and rendering so similarly you have a main body part as a partial uh, design and in within that you have a filters product card list and pagination similarly for a footer you have a navigation component which is used for a social media and the footer navigation so basically this is the structure so in sxa if you want to design this you have want to have a template with this design this is called as a page design so you can call it as like product listing page okay where you will define your uh, your uh, placeholders okay so in this header you will have a header main body and footers okay those are partial design with the structure will remain same if you want to change the structure then the accordingly will change it and then uh, when you design the page you will use your renderings to add on those partial design so this is the basic concept of the partial de uh, partial design and the page design now let's define page design page design in site core sxa refers to the overall layout and structure of an entire page 
it defines the global layout which typically includes elements such as a header footer and main contain areas so, so page design is are basically overall layout and structure of the complete page If you see the characteristic of page design, it applies to the entire page. It defines the global layout elements like header, footer, navigation and the main content regions. So basically you are defining the area on your structure that what that area, area is supposed to do. Can, can be reused across multiple pages ensuring consistency in the overall look and feel of the site. Contains placeholder where different components can be inserted. So it holds the placeholder where you can uh, uh, insert the different components. Managed through the page design tab in Sitecore Experience Editor or a Content Editor. I will show you that uh, in when we log in into the Sitecore. So let's see what is partial design. So how will you define partial design? Partial design in Sitecore as say on the other hand focus on a smaller usable section of a page so uh, the page designs for the entire page whereas partial design is a smaller unit and it is it is the reusable section of the page it is used to create a layouts for parts of a page that can be applied within the placeholder defined by the page design so in page design you have defined the placeholder so within the placeholder also you can define your layout so for that purpose we are using the partial designs so what are the characteristics of the partial design it applies to the section of a page rather than the entire page okay it is applies to the section of a page rather than the entire page it defines reusable content section that can be inserted into the placeholder defined by the page design so it is a reusable content section which you can can uh, use or can be inserted into the placeholder and the placeholders are defined in the page designs can be reused across multiple pages and within the different placeholders allowing for a modular design and content management so it can be used across multiple pages okay you can use the partial design across the pages across the page designs and within the different placeholders also so you can use it on the different placeholders also allowing for a modular design and content management so you can because of this you can have the modular design and you can manage the content also Contain placeholders and components that can be reused in a different context within the site. Okay, so the placeholders and the components you can use it with a different context. Manage through the partial design tab in Sitecore Experience Editor or a Content Editor. We will see this. So at the end, what is page design? Page design is ideal for defining the overall layout and ensuring a consistent structure across multiple pages and it is the backbone of the page structures so page design defines your page structure it is ideally used for overall layout so overall across the website what kind of a layout which you can have to define that you use the page design partial design is a suitable for creating modular and reusable components that fit within the structure defined by the page design it enhances flexibility allows for a more dynamic varied content layouts within the constraint of the page design so partial design is a smaller module okay it is a reusable component that fit into the structure defined in your page design it enhances the flexibility and allows more dynamic and varied content layouts within the constraint of the page design so now we will see uh, how uh, you can add the partial design and the page design in the SXA uh, content tree. Okay, I have logged in into the uh, Sitecore uh, CMS. Okay, for this video, I'm just showing you where we can add a partial design and page design. Maybe uh, next video, we will try to create, we will have, try to have a demo of a partial and page design. Okay, for this video, I'm just showing you where we can add it. So, this is your SXA site. Okay. So in this you have this contain home and then you have in the presentation this is a presentation inside a presentation you will see page design and partial design so from here if you right click 
partial design you'll have you can add partial design uh, partial design folder similarly in the page design if you right click you can add the page design page design uh, folder okay not only that if you can say let me just show you uh, you can do that with the experience editor also so let's me let me add some page okay now on this page if i go to the experience editor in the experience accelerator you have the page design okay edit existing or create a new page design and also you have a partial design you can create a partial design okay so these are the ways which you can add the partial design and the page design how we will use it we will have some use case in the next uh, video where we will demo to use the uh, page design and the partial design all right we are done for today so it's a very small topic page and partial design but very important topic in next video we are going to see the exact uh, demo of a page design and partial design so if you like this video please click on a like button to share this with your friends and co-workers who want to understand the sxc you can share complete list with a, a complete playlist with them if you are not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel do click on a, a, a notification bell to get a latest update thank you thanks for watching